In the probe into Russian meddling in the U.S. election, George Nader appears to be the witness who keeps on giving. The Lebanese-American businessman's ties to the United Arab Emirates are well known, but according to a New York Times report, Nader also has previously undisclosed ties to Russia, meeting with Russian oligarchs and negotiating an ill-fated arms deal between Russia and Iraq in 2012. I think that we will continue to get a wealth of information from Mr. Nader. And I think not only Russia, but it seems as though Mr. Nader has almost a worldwide network of people at very high levels that he puts together uh, to collaborate in various and sundry schemes that are supposed to be under the radar screen, if you will. For special counsel Robert Mueller, who's investigating possible collusion between Russia and the campaign of Donald Trump, that makes Nader a potential gold mine. He could conceivably give information on alleged money funneling from the UAE to Trump's campaign and its allies, and on Russia's efforts to tilt the U.S. election toward Trump. At American airports, FBI agents at Mueller's command have detained high-profile foreign visitors in cloak-and-dagger encounters. Among them, an Australian entrepreneur with ties to the United Arab Emirates detained in New York and a Russian oligarch detained in Washington. His electronic devices were seized by Mueller's agents. Then there is the question of whether Nader himself was involved in funneling money to pro-Trump campaigns. Uh, it's illegal for foreign uh, entities to, and, and individuals to give money to U.S. Uh, campaigns, but of course they could use cutouts, uh, they could use Americans uh, uh, to uh, uh, forward the money. Mueller has given Nader at least partial immunity from prosecution in exchange for his testimony. As Mueller examines the Trump campaign's ties to the Persian Gulf and Russia, that move suggests the special counsel is confident Nader can help him tie those two strands of the probe together. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Washington.